YouTube, welcome back. We're in the car and we're off to Exeter. Four hour journey for a Tuesday evening kickoff against Exeter who are at the top end of League One at the moment. And we finally made it four and a bit hours later. We are here in Exeter. Looking forward to going. I'm really excited about this one. Got Chris alongside. What's, what's your prediction today? 2-0 Luton. 2-0 Luton. Excited? Yeah, very. So what's your score's prediction today? 2-0 Luton. 3-0 Luton. Who's going to score? Uh, Patrick uh, Addy. Today's going to be 3 0. We're going to have Adebayo score 2, and Woodrow score 1. Ooh, 5 0. Joe Johnson, Adebayo, Woodrow, and Pelly Brace. I reckon 3 1 Lewin, Matt Anderson, Pelly Ruddock, and uh, Adebayo. Lineups are right. It was good lineup actually. A strong bench as well. And Dowerty's the only player to remain in the squad uh, from Saturday. Come on, Come on, Come on, what prediction today then? I reckon we're going to win three-one today. I mean, I think um, Exeter are going to go for it from the start because obviously they're the home side and that's what they're going to do. But I fancy it to be the stronger side over 90 minutes, and I think we'll probably win three-one over 90 minutes to be fair. Five minutes in now. It's pretty dominant from Luton with the possession wise. Uh, we're not really creating any chances at the moment though. Um, extra had a few chances, uh, but ultimately we're, we're dominating the possession. Uh, so yeah, we just need to create that chance now and get that goal. Since I've said what I said, it's been pretty shocking to have us not creating the chances and we're getting keeping possession and then they're getting more of the chances than we are at the moment. It's been terrible. Half time here then, nil nil still at the break. Uh, very uh, possession based football for Luton, but not creating hardly anything at the moment. It's been quite poor going forward, um, seeing we're losing the ball. And then extra coming forward at us and creating more of the better chances in fairness. They've had a few shots. Um, Tim Cole's been scrambling a few times over the bar, etc. But they've looked like threatening, whereas Luton very much going forward. Again, just not creating that final chance. It's been really disappointing. Hopefully we can come out the second half now, grind them down in front of the home fans, uh, sorry, in front of the away fans, in front of us, and get a few chances and score. But the quality is definitely there, but um, the, the, the chances created is definitely not at the moment. Elijah's not really got into the game at all. Woodrow again. Um, Pelly's had a few bit of possession. Berries. Chong's probably one of our better players at this moment in time. Um, 
has done a bit of the running, etc. But we need to start creating some chances. For anyone that did ask, yes, we did have a pastry. Not bad pastry, actually. Not too bad. I uh, give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Good plastic. This is what we said last Saturday with Morris just taking a shot. He's just gone the edge of the box and he's just had a go. That's what you want to see. You want to just see them have a go. Even if it's one on the bar, at least you're getting a chance here. At the moment, Luton aren't really creating anything. We want to see people having a shot. Morris hitting the post on Saturday. We want to see a little bit more of that. I'd rather see us constantly like pipper in the, uh, the post than trying to walk it in because we don't have the ability. How often we've done this season, we're trying to walk the ball in or cross it in, etc. Have a little pop elsewhere. You've seen the Tottenham goal against Arsenal, whatever, the deflections and stuff like that. You want to see more of that and having a go. that was it was strength from Joe Johnson losing that ball that's twice now first half and then the second half he's gone into a bit of trouble he's got pressure under him and he's really struggled with that pressure um, that's not a good sign that's not a good sign Joe Johnson he's still young but the pressure got to him there and he's lost it for the second time In fairness to the Exeter fans, they've been really good all game. They've been really loud. They were in here well early as well. So fair play to Exeter fans tonight. The reaction time of Adebayo, when it's got on the keeper, it should be trying. Because you're not getting the ball, you should almost react quicker and expect something to happen where the keeper's going to pop or not. But it just seemed like you just flat footed, waiting. You want to see them crit. And that's exactly how we lost the goal to Fulham. He reacted quicker and expected a fumble, whereas Adebayo did not expect anything to happen other than the keeper taking. That's the difference at the moment. We need to be able to react and hope that something happens. That's the only way you're going to pick up the goals at the moment. Elijah's just come off now, Paul Morris is on. We didn't really want to play our first team and to give them the minutes here, especially with Everton coming. But we've got to go and win it now. Um, see, uh, Rob Edwards said he wants to win it, so let's bring on the strikers. Elijah's been a day today, but hopefully Carl Morris is now going to come on and give us that last little bit of spark that we need. Carl Again! Oh. Okay, and again, and again.
And there you have it, Luton lose 1-0 to Exeter and are knocked out the cup. They went down to 10 men and Luton still couldn't put chances away. It was a really disappointing performance really. We kept a lot of the possession, however uh, we did nothing with it. We wasn't clinical enough. We didn't create the chances or even put the final ball away. Very similar to Wolves where we're creating lots of chances but wasn't actually uh, finishing them or scoring the goals. If we continue like that this season, it's gonna be a long, long season. A four and a half hour drive home for us now. However, see you all on Saturday and uh, thanks for watching. If you did like today's video, please do drop us a like and a sub and we'll see you on the next one. Well done to Exeter and good luck in the next round.